All right, guys, welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So, guys, I'm with someone named Dolores today, and it's someone that I've been running into periodically throughout the years when I'm out walking and doing things of this sort. And I've been talking to her about hydrogen, I'm sure you can imagine, for a very long time. And I always share with her, she actually watches my channel. And today I'm recording her because I'm gonna have her share with you guys. She actually finally took the plunge and started to get on hydrogen and some you know good good water obviously and so we're going to ask her a few questions she's going to just share some of her testimonial because she's been doing it for about it's a month is that right yeah, it's been a month. so go ahead and tell us you want to start with let's see why don't you tell us first about i know it's kind of personal but your bowel movements what, you, what are some of your experiences since you've been on hydrogen in regards to that well i'm normally a three-day person and it has changed to one day actually and that's huge guys i don't know how much you guys know in regards to having bowel movements and how important it is to keep the body and the blood clean and help the body heal. But let's go to the next one. You also mentioned some shaking, which I thought was pretty interesting. Yeah, um, I had noticed when I'd be driving or just walking sometimes that my hand would just kind of shake a little and I would have to physically scrunch my hand mm -hmm. tight to make it stop. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed after I'd been on hydrogen for just probably about three weeks and i was also inhaling at this time too that oh, that's right. it stopped and that's, that's amazing i mean it's only been a month yeah which is which is a really big deal because have you even made any other changes other than hydrogen no i haven't <laughs> which, um, which is not which it would be great if you did but the fact that, it, <laughs> that only hydrogen did this is a pretty big deal i think so yeah and now mention to us your weight loss thing this is actually pretty amazing too well uh I'm not a water drinker, so when I started drinking the water, I was surprised that I've lost 10 pounds and haven't done a thing to, other than drinking the hydrogen. And that's also amazing because you were also, I mean, we're talking, I think that you said you were drinking a lot more water also. Yes. So if there's an increase in water weight, but you still lost 10 pounds, and you're, it's probably the good kind of weight that you're losing, you know, so I think that's a pretty yeah. big deal. And, and not doing anything. <laughs> No. Other than the hydrogen. Yes, just the hydrogen. I haven't uh, changed eating habits. I haven't been exercising. <laughs> I just um, was drinking a lot of water. And I noticed. I saw you the other day, and I was like, wait a second. Because I, I normally see you getting in your vehicle, and I'm like, you're moving differently. Yes. And, and that's when you shared with me that other story. You yes. Share with everybody. I was watering my tomatoes, and I tripped. The last time I fell, I had to call my sister and her husband to come over and help me get up. But this time, even though I did have a chair outside, I was able to get up on my own. And I haven't been able to do that in years. Wow, look at that guys, one month you got up on, I mean, I was, I was so happy because I've actually given you my phone number for four. And, yes. and I've told you if you ever have, if you fall or you ever need anything, I said, just call me and if I'm around, you know yes. i'll come around so that it's great that you're able to get up on your own i was very happy yes. to hear that and let's see what about the you, you also had talked about the bladder control yes i am incontinent to begin with but um, i found that in standing sometimes i was able to control my bladder because normally it, i've had no control over all the exercises that the <laughs> doctors have told me, the medication that the doctors have given me that I don't take anymore, because I said, this is stupid, it's not working, I'm not doing it. And then to find out, like, I'm walking to the bathroom because I can't walk very fast. And I'm going, I can stop it. I am stopping it. <laughs> so I hurry a little faster. <laughs> And I'm excited because it's only been a month. And now, granted, I shared with you my protocol, mm -hmm. so you're, you know, you're, you're doing the same thing I would ordinarily do. And this has only been one month, so I can't wait to see what happens in six months. I actually hope to see you walking around because obviously, normally you're, you're in your electric scooter, mm -hmm. and so it's, I, I'm excited to see what the future holds for you because, I mean, I've been literally telling you about hydrogen forever, <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. I, and I wanted you on it so bad because I just really thought it would make a difference in your life, and I'm, I'm, I'm filled with joy just because it's improving your life. I'm so yes. happy for you. Yes. And let's see, what else we talked about? Oh, you know, the sweating. Mentioned that. That was kind of oh, odd, too. I have never sweated my whole life. I've never been 
been a water drinker. Um, and so for me to sweat, other than when I had hot flashes, <laughs> uh, but... Um, and how long did it take when, when you got on the... Did, was it a couple weeks, three weeks, or has that, has that been more recently? That has been very recent. So maybe with all last... of a sudden we've had hot weather and I'm in the house with my fan going and I'm getting up and I'm going, I think I need to go take another shower. <laughs> so maybe within the last, so it took about three weeks then maybe the last week you just started noticing some sweating. Yes. Wow, that is great. Yeah. Cause obviously we all know that sweating is a good thing and it's also a good way to detox. So, you know, that's also really, really great. And I just can't believe that this, that's happening. How about your, the leg discoloration? You had some leg discoloration. Um, yeah, I have poor circulation. I had a compound fracture uh, when I was in my 20s from horseback riding, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, the last probably 10 years, uh, the leg has gradually gotten worse. It looks... More discolored? Yeah. It looks really a reddish brown color. And we'll share more maybe on a, on another day when there's more lighting. But I, I noticed it when I saw you too. I was like, wait a second, your leg looks better. Yes, it, you know. it isn't as large an area of discoloration now as what it was. That's exactly what I noticed. Yeah. There. So that was amazing too. Again, that gosh, three to four weeks. I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. Uh, what about, let's see. Oh, how about your blood pressure thing? Mention that one. Oh. My blood pressure normally um, was around 129, 130, and now it's been around 111 to 116 is what I've seen. And you were saying that you haven't seen blood pressure like that in how long, or maybe almost ever, you said? I remember you were telling uh, me. Yeah, uh, not since I was probably in my 40s when they were telling me, Oh, your blood pressure's fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this has been so great. Um, I think the only other one that I can remember is the one you were talking about, how you can tell, like you couldn't tell before that you were really like thirsty, and now yes. you're, now you're noticing a difference in that? Um, before, water didn't mean anything to me. <laughs> I mean, it had to be flavored water before I would even drink a small cup of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the hydrogen, for some reason, it tastes good as far as I'm concerned. And I didn't think I'd want to drink it at all. And <laughs> That was the big concern for a long yes, time. Yes, <laughs> that was my biggest drawback of say, thinking, I'm not, I don't drink water. I'm not going to drink it. Why would I spend this kind of money when I don't drink water? Yep. And uh, surprisingly... I do. And my mouth will actually get kind of cottony when I don't. And so... Um, so your body's almost like asking for it. You're like, okay, yes, I want like, this. Uh, yeah. And I've tried with just tap water when I didn't want to wait the 30 minutes for the hydrogen. Uh -huh. Because I drink such a big glass mm -hmm. that um, waiting the 10 minutes that's not enough water. Mm -hmm. um, the regular water tastes terrible. <laughs> Doesn't, I barely even, I have a little four ounce paper cup. I barely can drink that. And so, wow. okay, I'm That's waiting for the hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this is great, Dolores. Thank you so much for sharing this with the viewers because I know people really like these kind of stories and I just kind of thought, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go for it and see if you're willing to get on camera and whatnot. So really, I appreciate you sharing that because I think people like to, they need to hear it. I hear so many of these stories all the time, mm -hmm. but most of them are over the phone, not on a personal level. Or, or even the people personally, sometimes they just don't wanna be on camera or something, they're too yeah. shy. So I appreciate you sharing this because I think a lot of people wanted to hear people's experiences. So yeah. thank you for, so much for sharing, guys. Hey, don't thank forget you. to support the channel. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share with other people so they can also hear, you know, what other people's experiences are with hydrogen. And that's it. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Bye. the next one. All All right. Right. Bonus footage, guys, for whoever stuck around. <laughs> Dolores forgot one last thing that was really kind of funny because you go ahead and tell the story. I'll... Okay. I had a blood pressure uh, cuff that I had always used. 
and it was so low that's when it was reading 111 over 65 I think it was that I took one look at that and said this can't be right <laughs> even with new batteries in it <laughs> went to the store spent 80 bucks on a, a on better the one they said came home tried it it gave me the same reading <laughs> You or so close. You that, literally thought the other one was broken because you've never seen numbers like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> you went out so, and bought a new one. Yeah. I hope it, I th hope you were able to return it. Uh, well, I still have it, but <laughs> but it was yeah, just yeah. like that was funny. It works. <laughs> the hydrogen works. Oh, I know yeah. the, the device. Well, they both work apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for thanks for for, for updating us. And all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. <laughs> Until next time.